IFF, or Identification Friend or Foe. It's very nice to use, but you can get very confused if you use it wrong. I'm going to talk about the overview, going to do talk about what is IFF, how does it work, effective usage, and don't make these mistakes. It'll be the last slide. After that, we'll go into 3D, and I'll show you some more things in 3D in the pit. What is IFF? So IFF is Identification Friend or Foe. IFF is the ability to reply to someone else's interrogation to tell if you're friendly. So that system is only de designed to identify aircraft that is, a, that is friendly, not necessarily hostile. So in the, in the civilian world, it's a transponder. It's usually your, your squat code or something. So mode 1 and 2 are military modes, and they're non-crypto. Mode 3 is military-civilian. Mode C is military and civilian as well. Now mode 4 is military mode crypto IFF. So this is the mode that we use for IFF. Mode 5 is the upgraded Mode 4. It's not implemented in BMS at the moment. Mode S is updated civilian transponder. It's not implemented. This is basically ADSB in uh, the civilian sector. So AIFF is, a, is the advanced IFF. So it's just the, the ability to in, in, initiate interrogation. So if you're someone, you can interrogate someone else and they reply to you with the IFF. So this only means that you have, you have the ability to interrogate someone else. So I'm going to say this probably many times in this briefing, but F, IFF only identifies friendly. Lack of IFFs does not mean hostile. So how does it work? So it works, IFF is a series of rapid challenges that are encrypted using a specific key. If the reply matches the request, then the reply will indicate as correct, which will be green. It's kind of like a password, uh, for lack of a better term, to make it a little bit easier to understand. If someone sends out the, a password, and everyone in the area has the chance to respond, if they have the correct r response and password, then it comes back as green. If it's wrong, then it comes back as nothing. Well, symbology, green usually means good, so green is a correct reply of that certain mode. There's also modes 1, 2, and 3 that also corresponds and adheres to the same rules when it comes to green and being correct. But 4 is the encrypted one. 1, it may come back, but it doesn't mean that it's encrypted. Basically, anybody can have that number. A yellow 4, or any other number, is an unknown is an unknown response. But it is a correct response, but out of sync. Sometimes when two or more people are sending a request. Sometimes the request is out of sync because someone sent a request and you send a request two seconds after and you get that first request and it comes up as yellow. It does not mean it's it's a it's a hostile, it just means that it's an unknown response and the best thing to do is just to do another interrogation to make sure it comes back as green. So effective uses, so use it wisely. If there's a sea of aircraft, perform an interrogation. If anything does not come back as a reply, then those aircraft are suspect, so focused on those on those radar returns if they do not come back. Also, don't be afraid to do it more than once. Sometimes it may miss, and it comes back as, as negative, a negative response, and doing another interrogation could allow them to reply and give it a green. So brevity for no mode 4 is spades. So if someone comes up and no more mode 4 comes back up, it, it is also known as spades. So again, IFF only identifies friendly. Lack of IFF does not mean hostile. Do not assume hostile if, there are, uh, if there's a lack of reply. The only thing if you have a lack of reply is that it's suspect and you probably want to get it checked out. Even then, try to do a interrogation at least twice if something comes back as spades. So here's some mistakes not to make. So shooting with no response, if it comes back as a spades or a negative response, don't shoot, doesn't mean it's hostile. So another mistake is, like I said before, is only interrogating one time. Do it once, twice, three times, even four times if you, get, if you, if you are unsure that the mode 4 is being accurate at that moment. Mostly you have a TGP, so if you have a TGP, you can lock onto a target and get a positive ID. Also, sometimes people think yellow means hostile. Yellow does not mean hostile, it just means a, a unsynced reply. Usually it means that it's friendly because it did reply correctly, but it was just out of sync. It wasn't at the time that you that you sent out a request. And with that, we'll go ahead and get on in Falcon BMS and show you around in the cockpit. We're going to gonna be going over the IFF panel right here. Most of it is in detail on Supernova's channel. I'll have that in the description below. But for now, I'll go over the, the, the parts that you need to know about. So master, you got off, standby, low, norm, and emergency. So off is off. Standby is is in standby. It'll show that you it'll show that you're on standby on the DED here. It has standby here. So that will let you know that you're on standby when it comes to IFF and your you will not reply to to interrogations. So you, you won't reply to the interrogations given to you by other aircraft. Low 
it says in the manual that it's it decreases the distance the interrogation and replies can travel. In and norm is a normal, so you have it at normally. The traveling distance is, I think it's like 60 or 70 miles or something. So normal is where you want to have it mostly. And then emergency, it sets up, says emergency here, and it turns your IFF code to emergency, which is 7700. And that lets air traffic control know that you have emergency. I don't think it's really implemented, but it's a nice little thing to have. And then normal is so what you want to have it normally. This is the, the normal transmissions. Everything is a little bit farther. I think I've seen the farthest out I've seen is like maybe 70 miles for a a mode four reply. But this is where you're going to have it mostly, most of the time in normal. So, so using the IFF here, go to IFF. And you have the asterisk here. You can use the dauber down to cycle the asterisk and the scratch pad so if you want to turn on and turn off a mode 4 the highlighted ones are on and the unhighlighted ones are off so right now I want to turn on or correction turn off mode 1 you press 1 and then you press enter and that unhighlights the mode 1 if you want to turn it on again press 1 and then enter you can do it to all of them and it's good to do that during combat especially in multiplayer missions you always want to have your mode 4 on because if you have it off then it will not reply to people. So there are two keys for the mode 4. It changes automatically in the jet but there's an A key and a B key. If you want to change the key you press 6. It's the 6 in the parentheses. Press 6, press enter, it'll go to B. If you want to go back, press 6, enter, it'll go back to A. So right here I have a few contacts right there. So I'm going to go TMS left. Just going to press it once, see how it's scanned here, and the mode 4 comes up as green, and the 4 comes up right here. So that's just the mode 4. This is usually what I use in combat. I don't really care about the other modes. I only care about mode 4. But usually by default, it's a plus. This means that it'll go through all of the available modes that you want it to go through. There's 4, there's 2, there's 1, and then that's it. So it goes through all, all of those right there. You can change that by turning them off. So I could turn off mode 1. And now it'll only do mode 2 and 4. Then I'd be that I turned it off. So there's 4. And there's 2. And there's no 1 since I turned it off. So those are two ways you can do that. Usually I just have it in mode 4 just to keep it simple. See how there's a 29 up there? So that could be enemy. It could be friendly. Not really sure, but I'm pretty sure it's enemy. So I'm going to do a mode 4. Seems like I'm only getting one mode 4 return out of that, and the other one seems like it's spades. See the 6 here? So this other one is coming up as spades. So that is, that'll be a contact of interest if there's a whole sea of contacts here, and you do a mode 4, and only a couple of them come back as spades. If you hold TMS left, it'll only do the width of your captain's bar, so only about 10 degrees. So if you don't want to do this whole sea of, of people or contacts, you can just hold it down. It'll do LOS, line of sight. So it'll only do this little slot. I could do it over here, and it won't, these won't return because I'm not, I'm not transponding doing interrogation on that, on that line. If you do a reply, it comes up on the FCR, and it comes up on your HSD as well. So keep that in mind when you're doing interrogations. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you learned something. Let me know if you did in the comments below. Subscribe if you want to learn more, and I'll see you in the next one.